We now don't know when the rains will actually start in any given season. They might come early and there might be too much rain. They might come eight weeks late and affect the germination of seeds. Uh, the increased volatility, the increased variability that is in the production system, um, uh, and the heightened sense of that, the increased change in that just in the, in the recent five-year period uh, is very noticeable no matter where you are in the world. There are no silver bullet solutions to this problem. It's not gonna be one seed or one technology that makes climate change go away. We're gonna to have to rely on, a, on an entire toolbox of, of high and low technologies that will help farmers do their jobs better and mitigate and adapt to climate change. Climate change affects food security in a truly fundamental way. Almost all the physical consequences of climate change affect food security. All the human responses to the physical consequences of climate change affect security. Conflicts over resources, um, battles to secure access to water, uh, the need to provide energy for a vast range of people who do not have it today the need to develop an economy with access to energy and water and other critical resources can all be affected by drought, desertification. One of the largest effects on, on agricultural production is drought or flood. So either too little or too much rain. And if you just look into the frequency of droughts and the frequency of floods, when you see uh, that they are increasing, you also see that um, at the, at the end of the day, there is no year where uh, not one of the regions of the agricultural regions in the world is affected by some, uh, by some drought event. Those are all real issues that we have to be able to resolve if we expect to be at a secure global food situation as, uh, as the climate continues to change. We are coming to a limit if we continue the way we are using water today. And this limit is not affecting uh, the way we drive cars or uh, the way we build houses. It is about something very essential. It is about food and it's something that is necessary for life. We have a lot of great agriculture technologies out there already. National research institutes in Africa, international research institutes through the CGIR, IAR centers have developed amazing seed varieties, new planting techniques, agriculture practices that we could use now. Well, irrigation enables smallholder farmers to consciously switch from a sort of growing subsistence crops, low value, drought resistant subsistence crops, which are dependent on rainfall, to growing high value, um, high value in market terms and in nutrition terms. Mobile phone technology presents a lot of opportunities to help farmers throughout their agriculture production cycles. But a lot of those technologies are just not being used because smallholder farmers don't have access to them. We really need to look at the day-to-day -day realities of people's lives and how these technologies can be integrated in a way that works for their lives. People are really coming to terms with the, the fact that climate change is happening and they're seeing it all around them. And this is uh, you know, for farmers in the developing world as well as farmers in the United States. We're learning from the developing world, farmers in, in the Midwest or in California who are experiencing uh, changes in weather and more extreme weather events are really learning from farmers in other parts of the world who've been adapting to climate change for a long time. Our approach to addressing climate change, particularly in the context of agriculture, we need everyone in the agriculture system to prioritize it. So we need the research systems to be working on it. We need private sector companies to be thinking about it in terms of how they source and how they think about supply chain issues. We need governments to be thinking about it um, and helping to develop risk mitigation measures for their, um, for their populations. And we especially need 
the smallest farmers in the world to be thinking about it. Um, so it really needs to be a sector-wide effort. Everyone needs to be working toward a common goal.